Oh, okay. Dum dum. Oh, yeah. I've just been selling stuff for like five to six minutes. So it was like non stop selling, drinking water to dehydrate or hydrate myself. And selling more, and I bought myself the music utilizer. I bought myself the ability to heal. At a medical clinic, I bought that over the medical clinic. Now I can heal myself. So I can feel myself survive longer. Don't need to chuck as many Nuka Colas. Just a manhole. Okay. Am I use food? Yes. Good food. No, no, I have no fault. Ah, yes. Okay, Mr. Badass Vocal Fry Boys, welcome us into this episode. Emptiness here, like the sands of the Great Salt Lake, echoed the beating in the divide sky, like storm drums of the white legs. Ran with them on the salt beds at Kaiser's command. Cut the throats of the two headed bear, cut all communities off. You storm, sky, disease, fire, starvation, and the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could. My. Oh. That killed the audio. Yeah, that's where we need to be. Jesus Christ. Killed the audio, I killed the game. What? We can listen to that again. Of course we are, and we need to loot this pod again. Where's that? There's the laser detonator. That's what I need. Maybe too much of a sandstorm going on. Oh boy. Crashes. My trouble's already bugging me. We can't finish this. Okay. This time, please don't crash. Please don't crash my game. Mr. Ulysses. Emptiness here. Like the sands of the great salt lake. Echoed. The beating in the divide sky. Like storm drums of the white legs. Ran with them on the salt beds at Kaiser's command. Just in case. Cut the throats of the two headed bear. Cut all communities off. You storm, sky, disease, fire, starvation. And the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could. Might stand against him. But the white legs. They couldn't live on their own, like most scavengers. So gave them purpose, turned their hunger into a weapon. The wall of New Canaan, too high for Kaiser. Too proud, maybe. Or maybe something there from his past that needed killing. Memory of Graham. Help them dig out Canaan's supply caches and other secrets the sands hid. Bunkers filled with powered weapons even the Brotherhood might desire. They call these new weapons storm drums in the firing of shells. Taught them the power in the casings to channel the spirits in their guns. Me. They called me the flag bearer. Glory in my hand, in my staff that still Can't bore the weight of me. the old world, just as the symbol on my back did. I learned. <laughs> and when it came their turn to pay respect to me, Ooh. history. This voice apparently is just too badass. I won't listen to the audio log again. God damn.
Actually, never mind. I don't have a choice. He's already talking, right? No, he's not. Okay. He probably... If I put a mine in front of it, the mine is probably just gonna... Explode because of the warhead. God, so sniper rifle is one. Yes, sniper rifle then. Oh god. Uh, this is already cursed. This DLC Let's Play is already cursed. My episode one was me running around aimlessly and helplessly. Where I just didn't find the way and what to do. But do I'm overweight the whole time. Oh, just didn't do much else. And now we have crashes. Someone shooting a rocket at me. I don't believe so. I don't even know I are I saw hit him. Seems like a car is in the way. He might heal so quickly that I ain't even doing stuff to him. Ah, oh, he's dead. The dry beam laser. Damn it. Damn it. Now they're spawning in. This is sweet. Okay, I got one head off. Two heads. A headshot, but not a head kill. Go in. Okay. Eat this. I feel like the car is actually blocking us. We'll see. No. <laughs> Jesus, I walked right into a grenade, and I'm on fire. And proper medics. Holy hell, I killed him. I'm on fire. Oh, there's someone else here. Damn it. Oh. Ah. Where? <coughs> How? The hell did you get behind me? Explain. Where's my team? Okay. My team ain't coming through. Oh god. Let's see, bro sniper off a holy hell they never have. Any goddamn ammo on them. Yes. Do. Sword carabiner will be used. Ah, there's the tri beam. That's good. Can repair now. Blade of the West is worth so much. We're gonna take it. Drop a sword rifle. Can repair you. Can sell you or use you to repair that gun. Uh, Cheer, ah. Uh, it's literally no difference, apparently. Did 
Stream? No. They're not coming. I could have sworn I killed a few more people here too. Where are they? Blame of fuel. Okay. Ah. Oh, that's a new body. They sure like burning people. Typical legion. Missiles are too heavy. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Bob, there's another one. Oh. Let's hope that farm bro we're gonna get swarmed. One Okay. No wonder the game is crashing. Right, I'm gonna walk over that burning car. Seems reasonable. Yep. That the part where the little creeps come in, the little death ploys. Collapsed over sea tunnel. I don't believe it. Grant uh. actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damned efficiency guidelines. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, hi Eddie. Let's move on. You peep too much. I saw it. That's actually a death claw. Hmm. There's a rifle won't do any good here. Secondary ammo in that? No. Nope. And it won't do any good here too. Okay, 10 millimeter. Show me you can take care of those creatures. God damn it, daddy. Flashbangs, just for those dudes. And an air gun. So I guess that's what they want me to use an air gun on. Okay, I got it. Let's throw a flashbang too. Yep, I got it. Thanks team. Is have a cool ranger helmet? No. It's 
stuff is probably gonna go to shits here. I don't know if I miss anything here. Let's see. No. It's another corpse. This time a skeleton. Nothing else. Contact. Okay, they're not that tough. You're mine. Also, we just for the rest. Oh, hello. That's my grandma, sadly. All mine. Ah! Ah! Got it. There's behind me. Stim pack expired. And flash bang it. That was the worst flash bang ever. That works. I'm not gonna go over there. I already got this. What the hell are they? Am I even going the right direction? Take him out. Can't no. run from me. I don't think that's doing too much. Don't have too much ammo here. They're fighting each other? I mean, that's what the flashbang is doing. Eat this! Eat this! Oh boy, Ed is almost dead. Only some good health. I don't know if Eddie can die, but I better help him out. My last 15 rounds. Oh wait, there are 15 more. <laughs> uh, and here are more tunnels. Where's that gun? Who's that gun? Guess we made it. I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Just escaped. I'll take it all. All mine. Yeah. You're mine. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, headshots, please. Too bad. The Thunders are nowhere else to be seen in this franchise. Because they're cool as hell. Just in this DLC. To the high road. There you are. You went quiet for a time. 
And that signal came in strong from your machine, like a heartbeat. Made your way through old world towns, the tunnels that joined them. Now, the high road. For all you've seen behind you, there's worse along this stretch. Death claws hunt the marked men, and they also hunt what burrows below. Burrows below. You mean those creatures and the underpass? Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of new prey. This lower death for the Mojave than bombs and fire, but they'll come for its people, from where they least expect. Below. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't pop a survival book here. I've never seen creatures like that before now. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years. Probably less. They breed fast, hunt in groups. More than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave. Once they draw blood. Seen them tear apart Deathclaws. Deathclaw might get some, but the rest will swarm it. Tear it apart like Denver hounds. Ah, too little. Damn. Okay. Takes time. Those marked men in Hopeville. Some have strange masks and blades I've never seen before. They bear false versions of Legate the Muse's mask. The one Kaiser fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal, not with care and strength, but with hate. Keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. Well, the mock man had NCR gear, and they weren't carrying masks or blades. For the two-headed bear, NCR, they don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their mines and explosives, guns. That is their religion. Death from afar. Take pride in it. Whatever they were carrying, they were fighting side by side with the ones in Legion armor. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield now turned against the divide. Few survived. Intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar. Fear of the Legion. That doesn't mean too much sense to me. That doesn't make too much sense to me. What do you mean? The why of it. Hoover, damn. The bear, NCR, couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15, Cayman, both bad enough. Kimbo, Kaiser, House. You'd think the whole world was that wall, cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the Divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, bleed it, starve it. That kind of murder. It's what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the Divide belongs to history. Ah, oh, I found some recordings from you in Hopewell. The tapes? <laughs> Didn't think those would be found. You know the Divide better than I thought. Had tech 
from the big empty. The quarter a woman gave me didn't survive the road on its last legs. Cast it and the tapes aside. Weren't worth the words anyway. Not like I'd forget what happened. If you heard them, nothing but ramblings, reminders for a man who doesn't need them. Probably more lying from here to the divide. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, damn it, I have nothing. I'm not interested in talking, I only want to know where to head next. At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you. It can open it, wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. Perception, oh wow, I have something. You have a lot of hate for the robot with me. I can hear it in your voice. Hate? No. There's nothing to hate in metal, steel, gold, or platinum. You're a machine. It's just a tool made of wreckage of the divide. All that was brought here. See, nothing to hate in steel. Thank you. This road leads nowhere, there's nothing in the divide. Many in the Mojave think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life. A town. Farther west. Not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name, the divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. Took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the divide's in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. Dude, nothing of what you're saying is making too much sense. It's still mumbling. Oh, god damn. You keep saying that as if you know where I was born, you don't. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind. A moment where you know who you are, the history of it. And they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just a job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for a place that hard unless it's home. God. That's what I think. I've walked a lot of hard roads, Mojave, and before doesn't mean anything. It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are, proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission. New beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. Oh god, um, okay. Ah, oh, he talks too much. He likes to hear himself talk and I... Um, yeah, I get that. He has a cool voice, but still, it's mostly mumblings. You're still making assumptions about all this. No, recounting history. In 
MCR saw the worth in that road you made, staked a claim whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, airing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. Fine. Ah, anyways. Because I need it that often. Let's get it up. And let's get you out for no reason. Oh. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Oh no. Oh. That would have been so handy beforehand. Okay, no. Done. That's a cool visual though. Is that where all those goddamn thumbnails were taken? Is that the Death Claw goddamn bridge? I believe it is, and I believe I'm walking right into a Death Claw. And if I die, I will have to do the cutscene again. Let's save. Look out. Nope, it's not a death claw. It's Eat okay. This. Is it just flesh bang me? That doesn't work on me and the protagonist dude. Yeah, hey, headshot. That works on you. You're mine. Beast! Oh, it's in already. Yeah. Yes. Can't run from me. We're not hitting a single shot with that. I don't even know what he's doing here. Seems like the incinerator ain't doing much either. Can't run from me. Damn it. Should have set off. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Um. Oh. So much to eat. Like that. That might heal me. Don't think flashbangs do anything. Just gonna say it. Incendiary ammo doesn't seem good too. Hmm. Nice mutilated corpse. So there's the boy now. That has a lot of value. There's beast set. Gone. Shoulder-mounted machine gun. Damn, that's heavy. And not that much valuable. Okay. Oh yeah, this is not good. That's the next part though. Okay, now I can repair it. Now it's available. Good thing they didn't go off those subtle charges. What? They didn't explode, sure. Stop it. Let's say shoulder mounted machine gun. Ten millimeter. That's probably so much better. Thirty twelve, that's so much better. Yeah. There's no reason to use the ten millimeter anymore. 
Yeah, let's dig a little bit forward. Oh. What did you do, boy? Oh, I don't need a flare gun. Get me on top of that. I want the high ground. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah. Good, good, good. We're gonna start with that view next episode. The hard road is hard to find. Peace out.